The crowds that gathered in Mexico to watch the World Cup this summer proved the country to be a true football nation. And our game changer this week is a passionate player herself. She played for the women's national team and was even the captain. Now she's getting her kicks by teaching at-risk Mexican girls how to play. Her program not only provides football skills, but it also teaches them lessons in life. This week's Game Changer is Monica Gonzalez. Hi, my name is Monica Gonzalez, and I'm the founder of Gonzo Soccer. I was coming to terms with the fact that my soccer career was over, and my soccer career was over about five years earlier than I expected. Most of the girls from the DEEF are a very, very low income families and, um, and we don't care. We're going to train them like every other girl and every other athlete and they want to become professional athletes, we're going we're to teach them how to do it. Once they step on the field for our coach, doesn't matter who's from where or what, we have a soccer ball and we're going to play and we're going to teach you some values and we're going to make sure you do well in school and then you can be whatever you want to be in life. Cuando juego fútbol me siento feliz porque es un deporte que también me ayuda a ser este, una gran futbolista. Yo vivo con mi abuelita, pero yo le digo mamá, las dos dormimos aquí, aquí juntas. Y... Yo salí a vender tortas con mis amigos para ganar dinero y apoyar a, a mi abuelita. Vente, Se empieza con mayúscula, explica que. For us to be able to, to liberate these girls from where the, you know, the confines of being in a community and in, in a bubble where you live the same life and you live with 11 people in your house and you've never tasted certain foods and gone to different places. It's not, it's not about being poor and it's not about the money, it's about the opportunity and the fact that we have um, the power and we have the opportunity to go and give them an opportunity to open doors for them. So I'm showing up to training with a broken heart, um, trying to make sense of 
how it's possible that I trained for you know 30 years to get to something I never got to and to now have my career come to an end and then I show up with these 25 girls who come to me and grab me by the leg and just look at you with these eyes and you start and you tell them what to do and they do it and they do it well and you see them getting better and you and and all of that goes away and I realize okay my career is over but maybe 25 more are starting